So guys, I have two books, two, and a book review for you. And I'm going to do the book haul first, my very tiny book haul. Uh, I got two books before I came home today. The first one is um, Men I've Loved Before by Adele Parks, and it has a just a delicious cover. And um, it kind of reminds me of um, Sugar Queen. It's cover, and I'll just read you the blow. Neil and Nat seem to be perfectly matched. They hate Marmite and the opera. They they love reality, TV, and, mis and the missionary position, and they both absolutely do not want children. At least that's what Nat thought, but now N Neil seems to have softened towards the prospect of dirty nappies and sleepless nights, and, he pra and he's practically begging for a baby. Nat tries to ignore his change of heart and won't explain her reasons for hating the idea. She can't. Are they that compatible after all? As the cracks start to show, Nat wonders if Neil is really the man of her dreams or is it possible that someone else from her past could actually be the one. Nat's little black book filled with the names and addresses of previous lovers could hold the answers she's looking for or it could be a one-way ticket to all kinds of trouble. How do you know when you've met the right one you're meant to be with and is a, mat and is a match made in heaven a realistic dream for mere mortals? So I thought that sounded like a really really good book. Like, um, I'm actually considering reading it next because I need something like that to read for a while because oh, I've been reading um, non-fiction books and I really need a really good fiction book and I love it. I love the book. It looks so yummy and I just want to eat it and I want to read it right now. So, um, and I will check the, I like the chapters as well. I have like little heart. Okay, so that's the first book I got. Sorry if I'm a little bit distracted, I'm just a bit tired. The second book I got, and it's because um, next year I'm planning on reading a lot more non fiction books and mainly um, spiritual self help kind of books because that's what I'm interested in, which is what the next book is going to be. It is called The Power of Now A Guide to Spiritual Alignment by Eckhart Tolle and this is a book and that is the back cover um, it's fairly small it's broken up into chapters and it looks like it's going to be like an easy read it has um, 229 pages so, uh, if I don't read it this year, I will definitely be reading it next year, or I might just keep it on my list of um, non-fiction books to read next year. So, that is that book. Uh, I can read the back. It says, to make the journey into the power of now, we will need to leave our an analytical mind and its false created self, the ego behind. From the very first page of this extraordinary book, we move rapidly into a significantly higher altitude where we breathe a lighter air we, we become connected to the indestructible essence of our being the eternal ever-present one life beyond the myriad forms of life that are subject to birth and death although the journey is challenging Eckhart Tolle to use a simple language and an easy question and answer format to guide us a word of mouth phenomenon since its first publication the power of now is one of those rare books of the power to create an experience in readers one that can radically change their lives for the better. So I like reading these books. And it's very like I said, it's very small. Probably take me a week to read though, but um yeah, so I thought, why not? It looks good. Uh he has another book out too that I'm thinking of picking up as well. So uh yeah, my challenge next year to read more non fiction books. So yeah. That's the second book. Now for my book review. I thought I'd add this into the mix because of the book that I already had. The Secret by Rhonda Byrne's B R Y. No? Sorry. B R Y R N E. Byrne? Barney? I can't say her name. But 
she stuffs her on the back of her. There. She's an Australian woman. Anyway, so this is a secret. Um, what did I think about the secret? It is a good book. It is a quick read unless you are like me and put it down 10,000 times because I got distracted. Not because it was a bad book, but because I get distracted really easily and I was on holidays sort of thing. So, yeah, never bring this kind of book on holidays because I think it's going to be a quick read when it's not. And it's taken me a while to read it because I haven't been home. Um, when I first got into it, I thought, oh, my God, this is just another one of those like really crappy self-help books that got the people all like kind of up themselves. I know it sounds horrible but that's what it kind of read like at the start. And then I started reading it again and remembering that you know um, it did work for me before uh, trusting things and then I tried to test things out a couple of days ago and in, um, just small things and I asked for things and they actually happened so and I thought, oh, this is actually quite good, and what they're saying makes sense. So, I give this book probably a. I'm going to give it a four. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, and I didn't think that it was in between because it kind of picked up uh, after I actually started reading it properly. So, it is one of my favourite books, my favourite non fiction books at the moment. Like, it doesn't have any characters or anything like that. It just, it's a non-fiction book. So it's, um, it's a spiritual book, I guess. It's not so much a God book or a, you know, Satan book or anything like that. But it's um, enlightening. And it has all the people that contribute to the book at the back. Like, these are all the people that contribute to the book. And they tell you their experience using the secret, what their business is. Um, and things like that. So, and I did like the way that the book was actually set up. Like, it had, oh, like, quotes and stories and, um, then the authors put, like, just telling you about each part and it's broken up into things like relationship and health and all those Things like life, you, world, health, relationships, money, process, how to use the secret, what the secret is, um, the secret made simple. So I think this would be a really good gift as well. But for anyone who likes to step outside of um, heavily religious books, I guess, or anything like that, and just wants to read something that's enlightening and I thought it was fake, but I guess uh, it, it depends how skeptic you are, really. If you're not, if you're a skeptic of these things, I wouldn't recommend reading it because obviously, if you can't, if you don't believe in that sort of stuff, you're not going to take it on board, and it's probably a waste of time. But if you have in like an ounce of um, belief in the universe and things like karma, etc., like that, and happiness, and all that sort of negativity in it then you'll really enjoy the book. So I enjoyed it after I got into it. So that's probably all I really have to say about it because I can't think of anything else to say because it was good and it doesn't have characters so I can't comment on that or plot. But it being a non-fiction book um, is a really good book and it will take you, take you as long as you read it. But it's pretty quick. It's like 184 pages, so you could probably get it in one, um, like read in one reading. So, so I have a pimple here. It's like really irritating me. I want to pick it off. So sorry. So that's the secret. Now, if I haven't really done a really good review on it, please let me know, and I will answer any questions you want to know about the book. But I would suggest reading it. It's pretty old, and I think that she has a new one out at the moment. It's got like orange colour full um, cover. So I've been looking around for that because I thought, oh, I might get that. And I think it's set up a lot better than this one. Like when I first read this one, I thought that the setup of it was going to be like all over the place. And I expected like, you know, chapters that will tell you what to do. Rather, it does not tell you what to do. It just guides you in 
sharing the experience and sharing the knowledge of the secret and what it's done for people and what it can do for you so cheers to a good book